We've got back to back action in the shack this week. The Bison women's basketball team getting to host their first game of the year now, welcoming the Jamestown Jimmies into town. North Dakota State looking to bounce back from a tough loss to Creighton to open the season. The Bison with an early lead here in the first quarter. Jamestown looking to cut into that though. Kate Corda zips this pass behind the arc to Kia Tower drains the three point shot that bison lead cut down to just five points in the opening frame, but the bison shake that rust off quickly. Heaven Hamling at the top of the key drains a three point shot of her own. That's going to give her her 200th career tray. She's one of just three bison to ever reach that mark. The offense is in full swing. Now Hamling whips a pass to wide open L Evans in the corner all by herself. Three point shot will fall. Bison lead 18 to 10. First turnover now for North Dakota State, and they're going to get a few shots at this one. Bison grabbing a couple of boards, and the third time is the charm. North Dakota State building a 23 point lead heading into halftime. They go on to dominate on their home court 112 to 59 the final. They now head to Minnesota for a meeting with the Gophers next week. Now heading over to the Benson Bunker Fieldhouse, it's senior night for Bison Volleyball. Kelly Johnson, Ava Schmall, Taylor Kwan, and Alex Lyle all honored tonight for the green and gold. We're tied at two after back-to-back -back Bison points in the first set. Johnson sets it up for Lauren Jansen. The kill will land. North Coast State with their first lead of the night. But the celebration wouldn't last for long. Ali Hinsey's kill attempt is blocked. Ball sent back over to the Bison. Nice diving dig here by Logan O'Brien. Set back up for Hinsey, but another Kansas dig. Ariana Blum. Um, that goes too far point ruse and we're on a seven point run not quite at set point yet 23 20 Kansas City lead Jansen lightly taps this one over to the ruse ball somehow kept in play Johnson sends it back up for Jansen kill is wide ruse within one point and they're going to take it 25 to 20 they win the first set they're going to end up with the sweep here to spoil senior night State quarterfinals on the gridiron from Minnesota tonight. Fertile Beltrami and Goodridge Grigla meeting in Moorhead in the nine-man bracket. Falcons already up 6-0 and looking for more. Handoff to Isaiah right up the middle. Shakes past one man but slips up right before the end zone. First and goal though for Fertile Beltrami. Now looking to finish the drive back to pass on the play fake. Caden Swenby floats this one into the end zone to Derek Sorens and gets the snag and puts the foot down. Falcons doubling their lead now up 12 to nothing. Into the second quarter we go. Chargers driving all the way to the goal line. Blake Ricklock drops back on fourth down looking for an open man. Buys some time with his feet but can't buy any more. Brought down the hard way by Jack Lizer. The sack forces a turnover on downs. The Chargers are kept off of the scoreboard. Falcons would keep that momentum all the way to a 35 to 6 win. They're going to meet Kingsland in the next round on November 7th, on November 16th. That was at U.S. Bank Stadium. Meanwhile, at the double A level, the undefeated defending state champion Barnesville Trojans with a 42 to 36 win to advance. They meet Jackson County Central on the 17th. That's the closest game for Barnesville since their seven point win over DGF to open the season, but okay. still hung up 40 points. Mm -hmm. So quite the role. Pretty Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Summer's back with one more look at your forecast after the break.